You guys, I have 16 minutes to pay my taxes. So today's the last day. And why is that important to you? Because I'm making you this video as I'm rushing to the post office to get these little gems out. When you pay taxes, that means you've made an income. And so I'll tell you four ways that you can make an income as a photographer and videographer by presenting your prices the correct way. So point number one, never corner your clients. Never say, here's your price and that's it. So you wouldn't want to be cornered. You want, wouldn't want me to say, this is it. Is this or nothing? It, it makes you want to push back. So when you give your client one price, they're less likely to agree because they're like, no, no. But if you give them three price points, that works out so well, so beautifully, because not only do they have a choice, they have a low, a medium, and a top level one, but they don't feel cornered. And so when they don't feel cornered, they're not resentful and they are more likely to look at every single price point exactly as they should, fairly and honestly. One price point means they build this block and they may not even know that they're building that block, but they're building a block and that's not good for you. That's never good for business. We're gonna go to number two. Ooh, that close up. Hey. Offer to get on the phone with them, like offer an escort through the pricing and say, I know that sometimes pricing can be a little bit complicated. And so I've tried to break it down for you in three price points and as uncomplicated as possible. But about half of my clients, even if you don't have have half of your clients calling you, at least just say that you can do a little white lie and say, hey, about 50% of my clients generally when I send them the price points, I'll get on the phone with them and I'll go through everything with them. That way you can ask any questions you may have on the spot. You can ask me any questions about the package. You can make any comments and we can work on it if you want that. They may take it. They may not take it. I've had some people take that and that's no problem. And sometimes they're like, okay, let me look at it and I'll call you back. That's fine too. What I really want them to do is recognize that when they work with me I'm gonna hold their hand I'm going to take care of them I'm gonna answer their questions and that's that little precision thing those pricing things that help you stand out from the rest so let's go ahead and um, pay the US government I feel so much better that I paid. Like I don't feel better because you know it's taxes, but I feel relieved that that's done. Now in about three months, I will do 2022 taxes. And this year I won't be late. But the third tip in making sure that you present your prices better for your clients so that they listen to you more is this. Sometimes you can use, for example, I think Canva now has it. I think Vimeo has it. And there's a service called Loom. And I'll, this is not an endorsement, but what Loom does is it allows you to record yourself on the bottom left or right or top left or right corner. So the camera will be on you and you get to record your desktop. So this way you get to have a conversation with them and say, hey, so here are your three points of pricing. We have low, medium, and high. If you look at the low, the really, you know, pro part of it is that it's affordable. But bad part is, is that it's not as long and you don't get as many things. And the plus and minus of the middle package and the ending package. It allows you to be in their home, to be in their office without really being in their home or their office. And that right there, you got to understand psychologically puts you in really, really such a strong position because they automatically trust you more. They automatically are like, I, I think I want to trust this person because remember for you to be able to sit in front of a camera in front of people, it's really being vulnerable. And if you can break that barrier, if you can get them to trust you, if you can get to in welcome you into their home office because you did the video that right there sets you apart and lets you get ahead of anybody else who's also presenting pricing so now i'm going to go and try to find a place to work out today possibly like a park maybe just go jog or something i've been trying to do something for 30 days no sugar gratitude journal do something physical and last time i reached day number 27 my my, my dad got really ill and I had to step up and take care of him. That's as far as I want to go into that one. And then I was like, I don't, I have to start over. And then I went for about nine or 10 days and then I messed up and I had to start over. So I'm on day three right now and I'm just gonna go do something physical, something for me. I never really took care of myself and uh, I just never thought I was worth taking care of if I'm gonna be very honest with you. And so um, this is me just really, really working on it. and. Yeah, that's all. Number four is 
actually do not present your prices. Like they don't need to always see your prices and it's a way that you're gonna kill the conversation. You're gonna eliminate anybody that only wants to pay 400 bucks and they won't even call you because you're saying, oh, it starts at 2000 bucks. You're kind of pre-qualifying people, but you're also allowing people to be able to call you because if you list all your prices on your website, what happens is, is that they don't, they look at the numbers, but they don't talk to the artist. And that's the big disconnect. And that's important. So you can't just look at the numbers. Point number five is this, don't present all your extra things, like all the extra prints, all these extra things that you sell in the beginning. Don't even put them there. Let them fall in love with you. Let them fall in love with the work. And then once they've made their payments, like their 50% deposit, then 25%. I teach this in my step pricing course, by the way, that's linked down below. It is a one of a kind, hands down, the best photography pricing course on the market. It's made by me. It's my own plan and it's for you. So it's by a photographer for you as a photographer. Anyone that's taken it, they're like, dude, this thing is incredible. It's going to change your life trust me it's gonna change your life you're gonna make so much more money so that link is in the description of the video but let's get back into the middle of point number five 50 percent deposit 25 percent before you pick up the camera and then the remaining 25 percent upon delivery now the reason for that is once they've paid that 25 percent the final final one that big sting of the first 75 percent isn't there anymore it's not a sting but you know so what will happen is they are more open to the idea of buying additional stuff from you. And that's where the prints come in. That's where all these extra bonuses. But it's not gonna really change your shoot. It's all about the deliverables, okay? So that's point number five. I think you should watch this video next. It's really, really good. It's for pricing. And if you're wanting to learn more about pricing, this is gonna help you. My course is gonna change your life. It, trust, I, like, I'm that confident about it. All right, I'll see y'all in the next video.